point is, is that a lot of people want happiness, peace, health, joy. They want to live a life of fulfillment and passion, but they don't know where to start and they don't know how to do it. So if you're one of those people, consider taking on a life of self-improvement. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about why we need self-improvement. So I made another video that links to why we need self-improvement. The one essential question that you need to ask yourself before you think about self-improvement. So I'll link that video down in the description below. Make sure you watch that video and check it out as well. So you might know that self-improvement is good for you, but it might still not be clear why we should adopt a lifestyle of self-improvement. So let me ask you this. On a fundamental level, do you have a desire to become better? In other words, do you wish to live a life that keeps improving steadily as you go up? Or do you want to live a life that goes up and down, up and down, up and down as the years pass? Or do you want to live a life that peaks and then declines as the years go by? I think it's a safe bet to say most people want to live a life that steadily increases and gets better, right? To live that kind of lifestyle that keeps getting better year after year after year, we must adopt a habit of continuously practicing self-improvement. What does that mean? It means becoming a better person today than you were yesterday. You don't have to think big. There are many, many small little actions, small little ways that I can become a better person today than I was yesterday. For example, let's say that your coworker makes you really mad. Let's say that there's someone who really irks your buttons and every time this person talks to you or does something to you, you get very, very irritated and it drains your energy and it makes you feel bad about yourself and bad at work. So if you truly have this desire to become a better person today than you were yesterday, then today think about how you can engage with this person or express your emotions to this person. Do something, whether it's saying something, acting a certain way, reacting a certain way, something that's just one little change, 1% change that makes you handle this situation better today than you did yesterday. So I think a reason why a lot of people get stuck and not know what to do for self-improvement is because we tend to think way too big. We try to think of, we have to make big actions to change my life. I have to radically change my diet to become skinnier. I have to change all of this. We think way too big. And when you think too big, you don't know what step you need to take towards that goal. So instead of thinking too big, think one little act. If something bothers you and you tend to react with anger, think, how can I change my reaction so that I react better today than I did yesterday? So think about 1% change. How am I going to improve my life 1% better than I was yesterday? Benjamin Franklin made a list of 13 virtues that he wanted to accomplish as a human being. So he wanted to improve his life. He wanted to become a virtuous person. So he made 13 rules for himself. And those rules were number one, temperance, eat and drink modestly. Two, silence. Don't speak unnecessary words and have unnecessary conversations. Three, order. Let everything have its own place and time. Four, resolution. Be resolute in your goals and accomplish your goals no matter what. Five, frugality. Don't spend useless money. Six, industry. Always be diligent. Don't waste time. Seven, sincerity. Don't be mean to others. Eight, justice. Don't do wrong unto others. Nine, moderation. Avoid extremes. Bad or good. Avoid swaying back and forth. Cleanliness. Be physically clean and keep your space clean as well. 11. Tranquility. Don't let little things get to you. 12. Chastity. Don't use sex for merely pleasure to avoid pain. And 13. Humility. Imitate Jesus and Socrates. So he had these 13 virtues and every time he didn't follow through with that rule, he would put a little dot in his notebook. And so he shared that the first day he had so many dots in all of these rules because it was very hard for him to 
do this at first. But after months, after years, every day he logged how many times he missed that goal. But he said that at first there were so many dots everywhere in all the 13 virtues. But as time went on, since he was mindful and he had a goal of becoming a good virtuous person, the dots would be less, 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 less until he perfected his character. And I believe that's a big reason why Ben Franklin was able to accomplish so many things in his life. He's said to be loved by so many people. How could you not be loved by so many people if you really stuck to these virtues? So I'm not saying that you have to stick to all of Ben Franklin's virtues. You can create your own virtues that have meaning for you. But my point is, is that a lot of people want happiness, peace, health, joy. They want to live a life of fulfillment and passion, but they don't know where to start and they don't know how to do it. So if you're one of those people, consider taking on a life of self-improvement. Make a promise with yourself that you will work, do your best, you don't have to be perfect, do your best to become a better person today than you were yesterday. Don't think big, think small. What is one thing I can do, whether it's a thought, what's one thought I can have better today than yesterday, whether it's words, what is one word I can say that's more kinder and gentle today than yesterday, actions, what is one action I can do that is more in line with who I want to be today than yesterday. And like Ben Franklin, if you commit to that lifestyle, every single day you will improve 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1% until you get to a point where you look back a year later and you're a totally different person than you were last year. So self-improvement is becoming a better person, but it also connects back with the journey inside because like Ben Franklin, he created his own 13 virtues based on what was important to him by reflecting on his life, seeing what he needed to work on, seeing what things would make him a better person, seeing that being observant of what you want, knowing what you want is the first step to knowing how I can improve my life to begin with. When you can clearly see the shortcomings that you have, the things that don't necessarily make you very proud of yourself in this present moment. When you can see that clearly, then you can take the steps of how you can improve your life. So if you're someone who's ambitious, if you're someone who wants to live their best life on this earth, then self-improvement is something that must be in your toolbox, must be in your back pocket to think about as you live the life that you create. So I would love to hear what ways you want to improve your life. Let me know in the comments below what things you see right now when you look back on your life, what things you see right now that you think you can work on to improve. That 1% that you can do better today than yesterday. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.